Hi all and welcome back to my very first ongoing let's play of the very first Siberia GOG version enhanced modded and all of that good stuff. We are still somewhere and yeah we discovered that Oscar has lost his hands and we need to talk to him some more about that. But before we do, I just want to say that if you are enjoying this Let's Play or the channel, I would really appreciate any subs and likes you might click my way. Having said that, it is time to talk with him uh, a little bit more. How are you, Oscar? Apart from the fact that I am incapable of drinking a cup of tea, of reading the paper, of scratching my nose, or even of adjusting my spectacles, everything is fine. Thank you for asking, Kate Walker. Who the heck would be interested in automaton hands? Even though I say so myself, my hands are two marvels of technology. Please promise to return them to me intact as quickly as possible. I am very attached to them, Kate Walker. You were attached to them, Oscar. But like you said, I'm a brave and resourceful woman. Thank you, Kate Walker. But please, above all, do be careful. Don't you worry about that, Oscar. Okay, so that was kind of... Oscar has sometimes been a little cold, but that was kind of nice of him to say. Right, Oscar. Let's go find this hand bandit. And this time we're not going to be such a pushover. Kate Walker, please do not think that this problem does not concern me. But if it's all the same to you, I would so much prefer to stay here, just to be on the safe side. An engineer never abandons his train, after all. Yeah, sure. Another good reason not to lend a... I mean, not to help me out. Kate Walker, even an automaton deserves a little compassion. I have just been savagely assaulted. Oh, I can feel one of my spasms coming on. I am on the verge of a clockwork breakdown. And all you do is accuse me of being selfish. Okay, take a rest, Oscar. You're not much use without your hands anyway. Well, that is true. And he's not much use, well, at all, really. He's trying to be helpful, though. So, yeah, anyway. Anything else you remember, Oscar? I have told you everything, and I'd rather not think about it anymore. Fair enough. How old do you think your attacker was? How old? Such monsters are ageless. I tell you, my wheel work froze with fear. I think he must have been an older man. Someone with a soft spot for automatons. An expert who knows how to dismantle a pair of hands with a pair of pliers. I'm afraid I don't quite follow you. And what if it was Hans Varlberg himself? Kate Walker, in spite of the respect in which I hold you, Permit me to say that such an idea is stupid, Hans Vorlberg, my attacker. A father would never attack his offspring. Get a grip on yourself. I should point out in all modesty that my attacker must have had muscles to overcome an automaton of my build. Hmm, maybe you're right there, Oscar. I do apologize. Okay. Do you know if your attacker stole anything else? As soon as he'd swiped my hands, he ran away. Well, at least that's one good piece of news. The train's still intact. What do you mean, intact? I am the train engineer. It was designed for me, and I for it. By maiming me in this brutal manner, the barbarian has also mutilated our locomotive. Without me and my hands, we're never going anywhere. Sure, okay. Could you maybe tell me how the train works, then? That is strictly forbidden, Kate Walker. There is only one engineer, and that train engineer is me. I am sure you don't have a license or authorization or even a deputy engineer's permit. Do you really think it's the right moment to get wrapped up in red tape, Oscar? Regulations are regulations, Kate Walker. And that's why I still find him annoying. Right. I'm done. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker. And don't forget me. I'll try not to. We do have the metal shears, so that's nice. Okay, I think we're done here for now. So 
So let's head back out. No point weighing myself down. We're never gonna find out what she has in that bag, are we? Okay, so... Now that we have the right tools for the job, I think um, yeah, let's first do a quick look here. That door is locked. I've got to find another way around. Yeah, she's still saying that, and I think we already found the way around. When we were using that big, big crane. Nothing new here, so let's... <laughs> let's see. So we have this room, and I think we need to get in there, and now we have these. That was the biggest can opener sequence in gaming history. Very nice. Okay, what do we have? Do we even have anything in the first room? Okay. Uh, let's do the old. Oh. We got a lot of. What was that? Spark plug. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we needed that when we were downstairs well that looks abandoned yeah no smoking though can we open that I can't go that way all right So maybe the plug was what we needed in here. Um, yeah, I think we might be done. Up 
up we go. So, I have a vague memory of us going down in that elevator and that we might have needed a plug down there. So I'm going back to the mine thing. Yeah. It's in this direction, perhaps. Yeah, because that's the door. Yep. Let's hope that I remember this correctly. with yeah this very nice I mean we're still in a, a damp mine but this is better okay so this is Definitely a thing. That looks like a ventilation duct. Huh. Can we use metal shears? Oh, no. We cannot. Okay. So as always, I will be uh, using the mouse cursor ring as an indication. Hmm, someone left this running. Can continue forwards. I think that's probably going. But this is a big place. I mean, it's mine after all, so, you know. I think that's another elevator. watching us or is this just abandoned so we can go in two directions here and we can do something there now let's start with the east thing well yeah this is a big place let's go up here then Is this an organ? Oh, hello. Who are you? Yoink. Nice screwdrivers. Okay, so this automaton is... From what it looks like not in operation anymore. Let's say we're done here for now then. That 
door is locked. Of course it is. idea what it says here but oh it probably was a sign telling us that we cannot go up there so you know um no one here to see us, though. No one here to see us. Is this a... Yeah, I think this is a door. Hello? So we do have someone watching the, the things. Hey you, who are you? Careful, I'm warning you. I'm not afraid of you, okay? What do you want? Why did you do that? There must be some misunderstanding. Because you reckon theft is all about misunderstanding, do you? Give me my hands back, now. Your hands? And what are those on the ends of your arms? I can explain everything to you. You see, I'm no thief. You broke into my train, assaulted my driver, mutilated him and stole his hands. Apart from that, you are not a thief. I have not stolen them, miss. Only borrowed them for a while. You've got to be joking. I'm not joking with you, miss. I would never take such liberties. They belong to Oscar, my automaton engineer. Why did you steal them? They are extraordinary. Real mechanical wonders. I would never have been capable of designing such hands myself. Never. Such workmanship. Such precision crafting. It is... It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And just because you like them, you decided to steal them? I have only borrowed them, little missy. Temporarily, you understand? Of course, I shall return them to you when I don't need them anymore. You can... Excuse me? You see, these hands are all I need to complete my plan. At last, I can finish off my automaton pianist and fulfill my dreams. Everything is now in place. You see, I have converted this old, useless, stupid factory into a magical world. As you can see, the furnaces, piping, chimney stacks, they've all been converted into one gigantic organ. I will be able to accompany the world's greatest living singer. Now, all I need is her. <gasps> I mean, that doesn't sound very good or healthy or anything else. Who are you? Sergei Borodin, the director of the industrial city of Komkolsgrad. Or what is left of it, at least. But who are you, for that matter? And why have you stopped in my station without authorization? I didn't choose to stop in your station, but my train has a technical problem. My name is Kate Walker, and I'm an American lawyer. It is very kind of you to come so far just to visit this place. Uh, I repeat again, I never intended to stop here. I'm on a business trip. I'm a lawyer, goddammit. Right. And what brings you here? Like I said, a stupid mechanical hitch. 
Yeah, well, we have a special train. I'm sorry, I can't make heads or tails out of your story at all. Without my engineer's hands, I'm stuck here, you see? Everything I have designed, all that I have invented, everything is for her. Do you realize her? Oh, to hear her sing one more time here in my factory! But who is she? Who are you talking about? Helena. The one and only Helena Romansky. Her voice is so pure, like an angel. One day she came here to Komkoltzgrad. She sang here, you know. When our industrial city was in its heyday. Oh, so long ago now. It was almost unreal. It was magical. I remember it like it was yesterday. Then, later, a long time later, she saved my soul. She saved my life and gave it meaning. When I was told that the mining program was to be abandoned, that this industrial city was consigned to oblivion, that I, its director, would from then on be nothing but a guardian of these rusting remains of a bygone age. That is when I first formed my plan to bring Helena Romansky back to this factory. But this time, she would sing for me, and me alone. And is she okay about this? Sure, sure. Once she finds out that I have done all this for her, when she realizes how I converted this vast network of pipes and tubes to create one of the most impressive organs ever made. Then, you know, this was no small achievement, miss. Once molten iron flowed through here, now there wafts only beautiful melodies. But then I realized I had to make an automaton pianist. I began to despair that I would never create hands that were intricate enough. But then you arrived. So lucky, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, that must have been a happy coincidence for someone around here. So, when will this Madame Romansky come back? When do I get my hands back? I don't know. Maybe someone should look for her, tell her. Hey, why don't you go? The quicker you bring her back, the sooner you can carry on your business trip. Now, isn't that a good idea? And you promise that once Helena has sung, you will give me back my automaton's hands? I promise, my dear. You have my solemn word. Well, I guess I'm going to have to believe you. Where should I go hunting for this singer, then? I have no idea. But for a woman of the world like yourself, finding her should pose no obstacle. Helena Romansky was a world celebrity, you know. I have collected many objects, souvenirs of her that I keep in a room. A shrine to her glory. It's like her own personal museum, in a way. You should take a look. <sighs> this whole story is completely nuts. Yeah, he's, uh... Yeah. When you stepped on the train, you were trespassing on private property. Everything in this city, sweet lady, belongs to the state. And to all intents and purposes, the state in this city is me. My train is not a part of this factory. And besides, we never would have stopped here in the first place if its engine hadn't needed winding. Well, as long as your train is at this station, it may be requisitioned and used for industrial purposes. Out of the question. And I forbid you to do so. Maybe I won't have to. 
Perhaps we can maybe come to some kind of agreement, my sweet lady. I hope so, and fast. You mentioned an automaton pianist, didn't you? Where did you find it? I pieced it together myself, my dear. Except for the hands, that is. I admit that I underestimated the intricacy of this part of the design. A pianist's hands are very important, after all. But enough. Now he has a perfect set of hands. Your passion amazes me. Have you designed any other automatons here? No. Clockwork mechanisms do not interest me as such. I simply needed a robot capable of accompanying Helena Romanski on my huge organ. I adapted an existing model, a reject automaton secretary. I reconstructed it and adapted it to this new function. An existing model, you say? Did you ever know Hans Vorlberg? He was a kind of mechanical genius, like yourself. Hans Vorlberg? Yes. Or maybe... I don't know. No. No. Sure, I understand. The number of automatons still functioning in this abandoned complex is amazing, though. My dear, one thing is for sure. For many years, I have been totally alone here. If that man ever came to this city, he left long, long ago. And what if I helped you to make some other hands just for your automaton? Why should life be complicated when I already have what I need? And I very much doubt you are in any position to create such a perfect pair of hands. Yeah. Listen, obviously all this has been just one big misunderstanding. So you're going to give me Oscar's hands back, and we are going to get out of your city immediately. Out of the question. I must have these hands. That is all. Okay. Please excuse me. I have to go now. So be it. So we are stuck with this deranged... person I was about to say but yeah and we at least now know we're in Comcall Square. It seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else. Yeah okay let's go and look at his weirdo shrine. Also I hope we're not helping him kidnap a person because I don't think and I cannot imagine that the <laughs> this Helena Romanski wants to come here? I mean, why would she? Yeah. Yeah, this is a proper shrine, for sure. And uh, I think we'll start exploring it in the next part. Thank you all for continuing to follow along in my Siberia adventure. I hope you are enjoying this as much as I am. If you are, likes and subscribes are much appreciated. I would love it if I saw you again in the next video. But for now, it is time to say bye-bye.